Ever wondered, how can I change my life and become more productive? The answer lies in the power of change. Change is a potent force that, when harnessed, can propel us into a future of unparalleled possibilities. It's the very essence of evolution, the driving force behind every innovation, every breakthrough, every step towards progress. In our personal lives, change is the key to unlocking our highest potential. We all have goals, dreams, aspirations. But to reach them, we must be willing to step out of our comfort zones, to alter our patterns, to embrace new ways of thinking and doing. It's not always easy. Change can be daunting, unsettling even, but it's also incredibly liberating. Let's think about the butterfly for a moment. It starts life as a tiny crawling caterpillar, restricted to a world of limited scope. But through the process of metamorphosis, it transforms into a creature of flight, of beauty, of unimagined freedom. This, my friends, is the power of change, the promise it holds for each one of us. So, how does productivity fit into all this? Well, productivity is the engine that drives change. It's the process of taking action, of moving from where we are to where we want to be. It's about making the most of our time, our energy, our resources. It's about making conscious decisions to work smarter, not harder. Consider the words of the great inventor Thomas Edison, who once said, Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. Productivity is about recognizing these opportunities and having the discipline and determination to seize them. But remember, productivity isn't about being busy. It's about being effective. It's about focusing on what matters most, about prioritizing, about choosing quality over quantity. In the end, the power of change and the role of productivity are intrinsically linked. One fuels the other, creating a cycle of continuous improvement, a journey of self-discovery, a path to personal growth and achievement. Remember, change begins with a single step and productivity propels us forward. Now let's discuss the first step to change, setting clear and achievable goals. It's easy to say, I want to change my life, but without a clear direction, that statement is just a wish. This is where the concept of SMART goals comes into play. So, what is a SMART goal? It's an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Let's break this down further. Specific. This means your goal should be well-defined, clear, and unambiguous. Instead of saying, I want to be healthier, a specific goal would be, I want to eat five servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Next, we have measurable. This involves concrete evidence to track your progress. For the goal we just mentioned, you could measure it by keeping a food diary to track your daily intake. Then comes achievable. Your goal should be realistic and attainable to be successful. While it's good to have big ambitions, setting an achievable goal could be I'll add one additional serving of fruits and vegetables to my diet each week until I reach five servings per day. Relevant. This term stresses the importance of choosing goals that matter. A bank manager's goal to make 50 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by 2 p.m. may be specific, measurable, achievable, and time-bound, but lacks relevance. Finally, time-bound. Your goal should have a deadline. For our example, you might say, by the end of the month, I will be eating five servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Zig Ziglar, a renowned motivational speaker and author, once said, a goal properly set is halfway reached, and he couldn't be more correct. By setting SMART goals, you're not just dreaming about a better life, you're planning for it. You're setting a clear path that leads to the change you want to see in your life. With your goals set, you're already on your way to making significant changes. That's the beauty of this process. You're not just wishing for change, you're actively making it happen, one SMART goal at a time. So, you have your goals. How does productivity fit into this? Well, let's explore this together. Picture your goal as a destination and productivity as the vehicle that drives you there. Without productivity, we're stuck in the parking lot, engine idling, but not really going anywhere. Productivity is more than just doing a lot of things. It's about doing the right things, the things that move us closer to our goals. It's about effective time management and prioritization. Imagine time as a currency. We only have so much of it, and once it's spent, we can't get it back. So it's crucial to invest it wisely. 
Think of it like this. You wouldn't spend your hard-earned money on something that doesn't bring you value, right? So why should we spend our precious time on tasks that don't bring us closer to our goals? This is where prioritization comes in. It's about identifying what tasks are most important and tackling those first. Now you might be wondering, how do I know what's important? Well, an effective way to determine this is to ask yourself, does this task move me closer to my goal? If the answer is yes, then it's probably a priority. If the answer is no, then it might be something you can put on the back burner for now. You see, productivity isn't just about crossing things off a to-do list. It's about making sure those things align with your goals. It's about focusing your time and energy on tasks that propel you forward. It's about making the most of the limited time we have each day. Productivity is the key that unlocks the door to our goals. It's the stepping stone that bridges the gap between where we are and where we want to be. It's the fuel that keeps our engine running, driving us closer to our destination with each passing day. So remember, productivity isn't just about being busy. It's about being effective. It's about spending our time wisely and focusing on what truly matters. It's about making each day count. Because when it comes to achieving our goals, every moment matters. Being productive isn't about being busy, it's about being effective. Now that we understand the role of productivity, how can we make it a habit? One might think that productivity is a trait that some people are born with. But in reality, it's more about the habits we cultivate. The good news is, anyone can learn and develop these habits. Let's explore some strategies to help you build productive habits. The two-minute rule is a great place to start. This simple strategy was popularized by productivity expert David Allen. The concept is that if a task takes two minutes or less to complete, do it immediately. This helps to eliminate procrastination and over time can lead to significant productivity gains. Another powerful strategy is time blocking. This involves scheduling specific blocks of time for different tasks or activities throughout your day. By dedicating set periods of time to focus on one task, you'll likely find that you're able to get more done and with greater quality. Now let's talk about James Clear's concept of atomic habits. Clear suggests that the key to building lasting habits is to focus on making small changes. The idea is that these small changes or atomic habits can compound over time to result in significant improvements. It's not about making a huge change all at once, but rather making small, manageable adjustments to your daily routine. Remember that building productive habits isn't about perfection, but consistency. It's about making a little progress each day. And don't be disheartened if you slip up or make a mistake. Instead, see it as an opportunity to learn and grow. In the end, developing productive habits is about more than just getting more done. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about learning, growing, and making the most of each day. And the great thing is, anyone can do it. So start small, stick with it, and before you know it, you'll be reaping the rewards of your new productive habits. Remember, habits are the building blocks of productivity. Change isn't always easy. How do we overcome the obstacles that come our way? It's a question that puzzles many, but the answer lies within us all. When we encounter challenges, it's natural to feel overwhelmed, but maintaining a positive mindset can make a world of difference. Instead of seeing obstacles as insurmountable walls, view them as hurdles to leap over. Remember, the most beautiful diamonds are created under extreme pressure. Now let's talk about the importance of seeking support. It's okay to admit that we can't do everything alone. Reach out to those around you, be it friends, family, or mentors, they can offer a different perspective, help lighten your load, or simply lend an empathetic ear. As the African proverb goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Another strategy that can't be overlooked is learning from failures. It's a concept that many of us struggle with because failure can feel like defeat. But in the words of the brilliant inventor, Thomas Edison, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Every time we stumble, we gain a better understanding of what not to do, bringing us one step closer to finding what does work. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, 
but how many times you get up. Each setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Each failure is a lesson learned. Each obstacle is a test of your determination and resilience. So when you face a roadblock on your path to change and productivity, don't turn back. Instead, remember these strategies. Keep a positive mindset, seek support, learn from your failures. This journey may be tough, but it's these very challenges that shape us, that mold us into stronger, more resilient individuals. They are the chisel that sculpts us into masterpieces. Obstacles are merely stepping stones on the path to success. So embrace them, learn from them, and let them propel you forward on your journey to change and productivity. Change is a journey, not a destination. How do we maintain momentum? Maintaining momentum is like keeping a fire alive. It requires constant stoking, the right amount of fuel, and a vigilant eye. In the context of personal development and productivity, this translates into consistent effort and continuous learning. Think of it this way. Imagine you're riding a bicycle. The initial push-off is the hardest part, but once you're moving, it becomes easier to keep going. That's momentum. But if you stop pedaling, you'll eventually slow down and stop. Similarly, in our journey of change, we need to keep pedaling, keep pushing forward to maintain the momentum. Consistent effort is our pedaling. It's the doing part of change. Whether it's waking up early, hitting the gym, or completing your tasks on time, these actions, when performed consistently, help maintain the momentum of change. But consistent effort alone isn't enough. We also need to learn and adapt. That's where continuous learning comes into play. It's about acquiring new knowledge and skills, understanding our mistakes, and improving. It's about challenging our beliefs and stepping out of our comfort zones. As Albert Einstein once said, once you stop learning, you start dying. Now let's take a moment to fuel this momentum. Think of it as adding a log to your fire. By subscribing and hitting the notification button, you're adding that log. You're making a commitment to learn, grow, and change. You're deciding to be a part of this journey with us, to keep the momentum going. So let's keep pedaling. Let's keep learning. Let's keep our fires burning bright. Together we can maintain this momentum and continue on this incredible journey of change and productivity. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's take that step together and let's keep going one step at a time towards our better selves. Lastly, let's talk about the power of persistence. Imagine you're climbing a mountain. It's a steep, treacherous climb and the summit seems impossibly far away. But with every step you take, you're getting closer. You may slip and fall. You may get tired. You may even want to give up. But if you persist, if you keep climbing, you will reach the top. That's the power of persistence. Persistence is the fuel that keeps us going when we want to stop. It's the grit that keeps us moving forward when we'd rather turn back. It's the determination that helps us push through the hard times, the tough times, the times when we're not sure if we can keep going. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. This quote encapsulates the essence of persistence. Success isn't a destination, it's a journey. And on that journey, we're bound to stumble and fall. But it's not the falling that defines us. It's the getting back up, the pushing forward, the refusing to give up. That's what counts. Persistence is about more than just sticking to a task. It's about believing in yourself and your abilities. It's about knowing that even if you fail, you have the strength to try again, and again, and again until you succeed. But remember, persistence doesn't mean banging your head against a wall. It's about learning from each failure, adapting and finding new ways to reach your goals. It's about understanding that the path to success isn't always a straight line. It's often a winding road full of twists and turns. But with persistence, you can navigate any path, climb any mountain and reach any summit. So keep going, keep pushing, keep persisting, because in the end, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And the journey is always worth it. With persistence, any goal is within reach. We've journeyed through the steps to change and productivity. We've explored the power of change, the importance of taking those initial steps and the pivotal role productivity plays in our lives. 
We've delved into developing productive habits, overcoming hurdles, maintaining momentum, and the sheer power of persistence. Let's not forget that these aren't just concepts, they're practical tools to help us create the life we want. It's about being proactive, taking responsibility, and making things happen. If you know someone who might be feeling stuck or in need of a little inspiration, why not share this video with them? It could be that little push they need to start their journey towards change and productivity. And before we part, let's remind ourselves of the profound wisdom of Mahatma Gandhi who said, Be the change that you wish to see in the world. It's in your hands. Start today.